I got so many DMs regarding the first UG video, uh, the UG preparation video, and uh, I'm really happy that uh, it actually helped you guys and you guys cleared. So this video is all about the experience that I had in the second round of like that was the interview during my time. And congratulations to all all the subscribers who actually utilized and like were benefited from that video and cleared that. So kudos to you all. Uh, yeah. So before that. There are two main differences between what you are going to face and what I faced uh, in 2019. My interview was in June uh, June 4th, if I remember. And yeah, I had to go to Hyderabad, but you guys are having it online, right? So this is the first main difference. And the second main difference was, which you might consider it not big, but according to me, it's really, it's a huge difference. That was J mains was already over, and even J advanced was over. And J mains ka rank, I I got the rank. So I was pretty confident. Uske wajah se. But tumhare case mein, you guys still have J mains and J advanced. So this uh, is kind of a problem because uh, maine UG thoda light sa le liya tha because I knew ki even if I don't get in through UG, I still have I was I still was getting ECE at Triple IIT Hyderabad because of my J rank, which was three thousand and fourteen. So us rank pe I I was still getting triple IIT Hyderabad. So UG I just went for the interview experience since uh, interview ka mujhe na experience nahi tha and I wanted to see ki kaisa hota hai and kya hota hai. So I just went there uh, for that. So yeah, I'll be sharing my experience and uh, I hope you actually uh, get really good insights from my experience. So I have created a doc. I'll be talking about UG. Yeah. Okay. So what did I prepare? So to be honest, my J advance was over. Okay, so uh, I I was pretty chill and I didn't study any topic. I didn't study at all for this exam. As I told you, ki mera mains was pretty pretty nice and I was sure ki mera ho jayega to play team if I wanted to get in. And ah, uh, so uh, I I made a so but my father wanted to like ha, ha, like uh, he my father and I had made a resume which is uh, like super professional for uh, like. Placements and all like college ke baat mein banana hai. and uh, but us stage mein, uh, I had I had made a, a small a simple resume which basically highlighted the academic achievements I had till uh, class twelfth including my JE rank and JE J advance uh, JE advance to nita but yeah JE mains rank and all so yeah and it was super light super peaceful now a lot of you might like have asked me ki how many people are getting selected. So, जितना मुझे लगता है, I mean, obviously, Triple IIT Hyderabad does not disclose all these things, but जितना मुझे लगता है, around around uh, it, it's around 500 to 600 people that that they take in after the first round, and उसके बाद they filter out and they finally select 60 to 100 people uh, through UG, like yeah, it's around 60 to 80 I guess, and okay, it might have increased, but I think इतना ही होता है, ठीक है, तो now I'll I'll tell you what what will happen. What happened during my time? So when you when you reach Triple IIT Hyderabad, they'll they'll have a, a orientation round first, in which they'll be explaining you ki kya kya rakhna hai, which what all documents are important, and uh, they'll be basically telling you about the interview, kaise kya hota hai and stuff like that. Okay, uh, it's it's a basic orientation, and uh, it's it's where your parents will be left. Matlab parents wahi wahi baithe rahenge. In that room, in the orientation room, uh, and the students will be called one uh, in a in a in a group of fifty, and they'll be taken into another room. So when uh, yeah, so a bunch like fifty students at a time will go to another room, and uh, they'll they'll basically give you an envelope, okay? And in that envelope, you'll have to uh, fill in uh, your details, your twelfth marks, your J mains rank, and uh, other stuff. Basically, it's it, and you have to like. Uh, uh, Keep your documents. It was just tenth uh, grade ki mark sheet, twelfth grade ki mark sheet, some identification proof like Aadhaar card. Wo sab tumhe us envelope mein dalna hota hai, and you have to submit it for verification. Okay, now I'll be I'll be telling about the mistake that I did here. So as I told you, ki main super light attitude se gaya tha is interview mein. I actually forgot to carry the uh, 
कंफर्मेशन स्लिप कि आफ्टर द फर्स्ट राउंड व्हेन यू गेट कि कांग्रेचुलेशंस यू हैव बीन सिलेक्टेड फॉर दिस एंड दिस तो मैं वो ले जाना भूल गया था बट आई वाज प्रीटी कॉन्फिडेंट कि मेरे पास सॉफ्ट कॉपी है बिकॉज़ आई हैड डाउनलोडेड दैट एंड आई हैड सेव्ड इट बट उस दिन मुझे वो फोन पे कहीं मिल नहीं थी तो आई रिमेंबर माय मॉम एंड माय डैड रनिंग एवरीवेयर जस्ट एंड आई हैड टू I had to visit a lot of people before I was allowed to sit in the interview. But now, I was here to reject it. Yeah. So, ha. Huh. The huge mistake that I did was that I thought that soft copy has me. But what happens? Uh, those guys. So you basically you log in into your account uh, and then you download the information later. Now, but us then they actually deactivate it. So you you are not able to download it on that day. So basically, I had to. literally run from one one uh, professor to another professor seeking permissions and showing them ki how i was set, selected and then they had to search in their uh, stuff and it took a lot of time okay so yeah obviously just please uh, have your confirmation slip with you uh, that was a mistake that i did and yeah so i'll be talking about the interview now so uh, i told you guys that they they take students in in a slots of 50 right so yeah so in that envelope you fill on in fill in all your details and then you give it for verification so they actually match those details with the aadhar card and they kind of check the box in which like wo bachcha aa gaya hai and then they kya basically verify ki you are there and uh, yeah so that's that's a very easy process and after that they send send you to another room and, and you are there with around 20 other people okay so and then after that they call you one by one so now uh, after that you have uh, the final interview jaga in which you just go and uh, so before going inside that the main interview room they'll have you seated for 15 minutes outside the room and by the time you and they'll give you a paper of three questions okay so you will have three questions and you will have 15 minutes to solve those three questions that means five five minutes for each question and by the time you fill it and solve it on a on a paper uh, it will be subjective okay so there will be there will be a question paper they will ask you not to write on the question paper and they'll they'll give you a, a subjective like a, an answer sheet and you'll have to write the solution of those three three questions uh and by the time you are doing this some guys being interviewed inside that inside that cabin yeah so uh, those three questions so i remember the first question was from number theory and uh, number theory to be honest is is not not that well taught in j okay so j me there is no, nothing called number theory as a chapter so that was quite it was a bahut ajeeb sa tha mere liye because i haven't i was pretty bad at it so i directly skipped that question the second question was about an a pendulum that was doing shm in both that was given uh, the given like amplitude in both the directions like first it's given amplitude uh, like it's giving given a push in the x direction then it's given a push in the y direction so you had to calculate the path and the time period of it so i somehow got the got that answer and the third question was very similar to those given in sample papers of reap so if you had practiced the sample paper of reap there will be questions on logical reasoning in which there be like something like match the column in which to main ye batana hai ki is ye word is for that this word is for that so It, the third question is exactly similar to that and the third question is the easiest of all the three the second question actually just ka answer tha it was it will be a two dimensional ellipse and then uh, you had to give some uh, like uh, the relation between a and b which are the uh, amplitude ka distance a and b and then you had to find out the time period and how a and b will vary and it was pretty mind blowing question so yeah after that when you write whatever you know they call you inside okay so when you go inside <laughs> there will be five five pretty old professors each looking like a virus from three minutes sitting there and judging you <laughs> and okay so one of them will be super chill okay uh, that guy will be the logical reasoning guy okay <laughs> that guy will be super chill the uh, the maths guy and the physics guy will be pretty pretty serious and the other two guys will be just to see how you behave and how you act okay so when when you'll come in when you'll go inside they'll offer you something to eat they'll offer you a chocolate i guess they offered me at least uh so then they'll ask then they'll try to make you comfortable okay so it's a 15 minute interview so let's say the first 2 minutes will be they'll ask about yourself and 
like what are your hobbies and all so i was a child actor okay so i just talked about how i how interested i am in acting and all and uh, like how i worked in ads and serials so they were pretty amazed amazed by that and they kept asking uh, like questions on that only they, they, they later talked about salman khan and all so yeah that uh, actually that part was supposed to be of 2 minutes but it went on for 5 6 minutes for me then they realized kare we have to ask questions and all so uh then they asked about the so they saw ki first first answer me i haven't written anything so they just asked my approach ki what i was thinking about the first question so i told them something like kuch bhi bol diya maine i actually <laughs> didn't know anything kuch idea nahi tha the second question they actually write uh, like uh, part of my solution was correct a part of it was wrong and they didn't expect it to be correct obviously but they were pretty amazed the physics professor actually smiled at me uske baad so i i thought he was pretty pretty fine with what i said about the my approach so he was pretty fine and the logical reasoning guy as i told you was super chill so he basically asked ki is word ka matlab kya hai how did you decipher this so i had to tell him the approach see the main idea of this interview is they want to find you find out ki whether you have that research oriented approach or not like the whole if you see leap and super maybe the whole idea was ki whether you can think beyond your limits or not okay so yeah that's what that's what they'll try to uh, assess you based on they'll ask you questions in like and you have to think they'll give you hints they'll give you a lot of hints okay just just don't worry about that but tumhe bahut sare hints denge and they'll expect you to kind of think about think upon them and uh, in, like kind of uh, yeah think about all these hints and uh, work upon them and tell them a logical answer and they'll help you in, a, in, in your approaches so don't worry about that and then yeah after that is over uh, they they will ask you ki why do you want to join triple it hyderabad and why not at the college and uh, are you interested in research and all and yeah basic basic questions uh, so basically the 2 3 minutes out of 15 minutes the 3 3 to 4 minutes will be your introduction and trying to make your comf- make you comfortable the rest 10 10 minutes or 8 to 10 minutes will be about your approaches and your questions and they'll be discussing about all the three questions and then the last one or two minutes will be about uh, why triple it hyderabad uh, why not iit bombay why not this and that and just you need to be pretty clear for me uh, i and yeah they'll ask you about your mains rank too so ha huh. so basically mere case mein it was like my mains rank was pretty good okay so they were like why do you want to get admitted through ug uh, why not uh, through j mains and stuff so I actually didn't have any answer to that. So I just lightly did it. So yeah, this was my interview experience. I already talked about my pre-interview temperament, which was pretty chill. I didn't study anything. If you want to study for that, just just I think waves and oscillation is by far one of the topics in which which they love to ask questions. And uh, number theory, do it now because well, basically, as a any topic, just me you feel that they can ask research-based questions. Okay, I told about my yeah. So basically, that's it. बाकी तो हाँ इफ यू आर प्रेटी कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट योर जी मीन रैंक इफ यू हैव अ डिसेंट रैंक देन आई कैन से लाइट ले सकते हो तुम इसे इफ यू ट्रिपल आई टी हैदराबाद इज योर गेम मेरे केस में वाई डेंट आई चूज ट्रिपल आई टी हैदराबाद बिकॉज आई फेल्ट कि मुझे लाइक मैं उतना रिसर्च में इंटरेस्टेड नहीं हूँ एंड हाँ एंड लाइक यू जी में देर आर फाइव ईयर कोर्स एंड आई डेंट वॉन्ट टेक अ फाइव ईयर कोर्स so i didn't like i didn't pre- like prepare seriously for ug but that was my experience and i hope you gained insights from this video thanks for watching do like it like and subscribe like